Hey Gemini, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your bonus reading for this week. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. Alright, we have the Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Justice, Seven of Swords, Six of Wands, and the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. You are showing up. I love to see that. Alright, Gemini, lot of a lot of things going on for sure. Feels like this could be a busy week for some of you. Um, it feels like you're going through quite a few different changes in your life uh, with regards to relationships as well as your career, your money, your abundance. Some of you are getting rid of the old and embracing the new again in almost every single aspect of your life. I feel like in the recent past you went through a difficult and frustrating and very um, sad situation for some of you where either you walked away from a person or someone walked away from you and it was because there was some sort of betrayal there was some sort of truth that came out that made you realize okay this is not something i want for myself with the eight of cups and the seven of swords i feel like you're still trying to understand um maybe why walking away was important some of you are still kind of feeling defensive you're feeling that need to express yourself some of you you know the way that you reacted when the situation happened was very mature, but I feel like a part of you is still kind of like, oh, I want to give them a piece of my word, but you chose to walk away just in the nick of time because I feel like right now your focus needs to be on your finances. It needs to be on your abundance, on your blessings. I feel like you have a lot going on. I feel like you're working very hard as well on something here, and it seems like you can't be bothered to give more of your effort you know, more than you already have to something here that you know doesn't serve you. So I see you very quickly just finally closing that chapter, walking away. Um, and I feel like the healing that you're going to get from now focusing and putting all your attention on yourself is going to help you get through that betrayal, that feeling of, wow, they really, they really did a number on me. But what's important here is the Four of Pentacles and the Justice. I feel like the Four of Pentacles and the Justice is showing up as a way to kind of say, to you, Gemini, that right now protecting your peace is going to make things right. Protecting your emotions, protecting yourself from thinking about what happened, from going back to the past in your mind, you know, keeping yourself stable and sane is going to be the, the perfect recipe to making sure that what you're working on, all of your effort, all of the things that you're doing for your success is going to work out seamlessly. And I honestly don't doubt that for a second because I feel like right now, the work that you're putting in is consistent, it's effective, you have a really good strategy for what you're doing, whether it's a business, your career, um, there's just something here that you've been working on for a long time, and you're starting to see the fruits of your labor, you're starting to see the success, you're starting to see the abundance coming in, and you just have to keep going in that direction. Because you're also creating a name for yourself, whether you work with a lot of people or it's just you, you're starting to visualize yourself on a higher plane. You're starting to see the next level of this one thing that you've been putting work in time and time again. So I feel like you're feeling more confident. You're recognizing yourself. Someone else could be rec recognizing your efforts as well because the Six of Wands is about praise. It's about receiving that attention for doing something right doing something good and i feel like you're just very successful but you yourself are giving you that recognition i feel like for the first time in a long time gemini you're giving yourself credit where it's due instead of letting someone else do it instead of waiting for someone else to say oh wow gemini you did a good job i feel like this knight of pentacles is saying i don't need anyone else to tell me that i'm doing good I'm giving that to myself. I feel confident. I feel ready. I feel accomplished. I feel like I have everything I need to continue to be consistent and successful in this one thing. And so I see you kind of being your own, like, you know, critic, but in the best way. Um, with the Seven of Cups and the Queen of Swords, I feel like you have a decision to make, but you're considering the options first. You're still doing your research. You're still doing your due diligence of making sure that your expectations will be met 
if you pick one of these options. I feel like you're embarking on something very important here. This could be with your career as well or your relationships. I just feel like there's one... I feel like out of all of these options, there's one really good one and you have your eye on it, but there still needs to be a little bit more of focusing on that and getting what you need in order to make a choice. So I just feel like with the lovers showing up here at the bottom of the deck, this is you showing up for yourself. This is you saying, okay, for the first time in a long time, I'm not going to focus on anyone but me. I'm going to make sure that my money is right. I'm going to make sure that my mental health is right, my physical health. I'm just going to be happy and I'm going to focus. I'm going to keep my narrow um, you know, perspective on that one thing because right now that's what matters. So I just see you showing up for yourself and not letting anything or anyone get in your way. There's a great sense of determination and will um, coming up in your energy. And I feel like that's why I'm so like... I don't know i went from being like normal to i can't help but just um it's like i want to get up and start running um and maybe some of you have been doing that maybe you've even you know changed your regimen your routine what you do day in and day out it's like i have this sudden burst of energy and i feel like it's because you're starting to literally take every emotion that you got from this and you're turning it into jet fuel and so I feel like right now you're like unstoppable, like there's no force that can go against you. Like you have everything within you to make yourself successful and it's it's overwhelming, but in a good way. We have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. As I was shuffling, I kind of just stopped and started talking and now I'm noticing it. And I also feel like some of you are going to be getting an even better opportunity to really show your skills, to gain more, to receive a higher uh, salary like if you're looking for a promotion or you're looking to find a job that is so much more suited to your abilities i feel like it's coming through um but let's see let's clarify the eight of pentacles all right sun at the bottom of the deck could be connecting to a leo i just feel like this is saying that whatever you went through in the recent past that you know you walked away from it was difficult there was betrayal all of that quickly things are going to turn out to be better than they were before the sun is just confirming happy times are coming i know that right now it could be difficult to suddenly shift from feeling the emotions feeling the pain feeling the the betrayal and the sadness of having to walk away but over time just trust the process because i feel like you're gonna quickly see that your world is just opening up again you are going to start a new cycle, a new journey here, a new path where this doesn't exist because you won't allow it to. You won't have time to even think about it anymore. To further clarify the Eight of Pentacles, we have Three of Swords, the World, and the Tower. This confirms that, yes, there is still some work to do on the you know, emotional area or matters of the heart relationship wise, there's still stuff to heal from to recover. That's fine. Give yourself all the time that you need. That's what this work is. This is work, not just for money, but overall, I just feel like in every aspect of your life, you are doing just that you're working, you're working on things. Maybe this is just reminding you that it's okay to still need time to grieve, to go through it, to process. But at the same time, as you're doing that, you're also working on your abundance, your finances, your blessings, what you want to accomplish moving forward because time is going to keep going. The year will move on and you will have more things to create and to go after. And I feel like you realize that and that's making you feel empowered and excited to get through this pain even faster. You are healing yourself with the motivation that you have right now, Gemini, to keep going, keep perfecting something. With the tower and the world, this is just, to me, triple confirmation that things are going to get better. Drastic changes are going to be happening over time. And as we shift from this terrible retrograde, we are going to be seeing rapid change like no other. And I feel like the, tow the tower is confirming the fact that you will be creating these changes with your um, determination. The world is just, again, confirmation that this new cycle will begin because you are allowing it to happen. Some people will go through situations where there is betrayal, sadness, grieving, heartbreak, and they will stay there and they will simmer in it and it will consume them and it will take them a very long time to reach you know, out of it and, and move towards the next things and just, and just work on something else. I can't stop talking fast, Gemini, because your energy is saying everything 
opposing that. Like you're doing the exact opposite of just wallowing, uh, wallowing, yeah, in your sadness and sitting there. You're using that again as fuel for the next thing. You are unstoppable at this time. You have just started a new journey and nothing is going to get in your way because you won't allow it because you are after success you're not going to let anything stop you at this time you want happiness you want freedom you want peace you want success and it's yours for the taking and i just i'm i'm overwhelmed again in the best way i love this reading i feel like i can run a marathon after this so um, all right, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you take it all in. I hope you like this reading. And if you liked it and it resonated, please give it a like. Please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.